Hi, this is take two. Apparently I didn't have a good enough connection the first time, so hopefully this is going to work okay. Um, I wanted to talk about your, your first panic attack, and um, I think back to mine from time to time. Uh, I reconnect to it sometimes, but ultimately the first time that it ever hits you is like a, you're bamboozled. It's like a slap to the face because you're not expecting it and it's, it's all brand new, right? A lot of the time is when we're doing something, we're standing up and talking, we're driving the car, we're doing likely a task we've done loads of other times before, but this time, for whatever reason, you are extra sensitized and therefore you start to panic, your heart starts to race. And instead of these normal things dissipating like they have done in the past, they debilitate us and they kind of build up to this crescendo where they ask us to, you know, take ourselves down. And then we have to remove ourselves from the situation. We have to sit down and we have to calm down over time. It takes a long time to calm down. Um, the reason I'm talking about this is twofold. Firstly, I spoke to somebody today who recently had a panic attack for the very first time and it kind of allowed me to re-look at it through a new lens. I often speak to people with anxiety, but this was a very recent one, like it was a, you know days ago that somebody had struggled. And it got me thinking about it and kind of where we go when this first happens to us. So if you've recently had your first panic attack or you've had a panic attack before, um, or maybe this is just advice for the future, who knows, um, then this is kind of the message. And the message is that when it first happens, we think we are broken. We think there is something wrong with us. We think it's even potentially terminal, right? So we go on to Google and we start looking up like, here's the symptoms, here's the feelings I have, what's wrong with me, how do I fix this, I'm broken. That's number one. Number two is we follow the default of saying, I'm gonna to go to the doctor, that's right, they'll fix it. And we go to the doctor, doctor gives us medication, gives us pills, tablets, whatever. We start taking those expecting to feel better and we feel worse in a lot of cases. We feel worse. Um, that's, the, that's the default route that's been kind of laid out in front of us. So I wanna offer up something different to you. I wanna potentially suggest a different opportunity in terms of how you can deal with this. The first thing is to say that you're not broken. Um, there isn't anything wrong that needs to be fixed. I was there, I Googled like, am I crazy, right? I've Googled that before. Look in my search history. Um, but the, these are the things we do because we have these intrusive thoughts uh, is the technical term for it. We have these intrusive thoughts where we start thinking about things and we're like, that's inappropriate. This is weird. How do I stop thinking about this stuff, right? So it's very common. So this is just a reminder to tell you that what you're experiencing and what you're feeling is very normal. Um, some people call it a season in your life, um, but this is something you're going to get over. And I would start off with the fundamentals, start off with the basics and let's look at things like, you know, do you drink coffee, alcohol, do you smoke tobacco or chew tobacco, do you consume a lot of sugar, start off with the basics, do you get out and do exercise on a regular basis, do you have any relationships in your life that need addressing, any difficult conversations you need to have, are you in a job you love, there's all these kind of peripheral things which contribute to our overall feeling, right, I talk about being out of alignment. Um, so the first thing we do shouldn't be to take pills. That should be the last thing we do. The first thing we should do should be like, be, the, be Sherlock Holmes in your own life. Look at your life or get somebody else to look at it for you and look around and say, where might this be coming from? Be curious about it, okay? Because if you be curious about it and you look around, you'll realize, as this person did in that case, that there were mitigating circumstances. There were things in their life which were making them feel unstable, moves, travel, relationships, etc. All, all of these moving parts. And for somebody like me, who's a sensitive person, um, when we get oversensitized, that's when anxiety starts to show up. And once we've had that initial panic attack, we've kind of created that neural pathway for it to be a possibility. It's easy for us to default back there. So there's the opportunity. Then, instead of saying, I'm gonna bury this, I'm gonna take a scoop of sand and shovel it on top of it, um, it's an opportunity to actually look at your life, look at your situation, and choose a different future, because you do have a choice. Um, and the sooner we choose to embrace it and do something with it, the more empowered we are to move forward and the better life that we can have down the road. 
That was number one. That was a long number one, Tim. Jesus. Number two. Um, on Thursday last week, I released an episode, 195, would you believe it, called uh, Use in Case of Panic Attack. So very in line with what I'm talking about today. Um, it's something that I used to um, still do give away. If you sign up to my email list, it's a lead magnet. You get this audio. Um, I just want it to be out there. I just want people to have it. And I want it to be easy to access. I want it to be on iTunes. I want people to be able to listen to it whenever they want. Um, since I put it out on Thursday, it's already been downloaded a few thousand times, so there is a requirement for it. If you're having a bad day, think of it as like a guided meditation for a panic attack, right? I know that doesn't sound too appealing, but a guided meditation to help you through it, to help you through that dark time. Um, that's why I put it together. I put it together for Tim Collins of eight years ago, or whenever it was, right, when I was at my worst. Um, and so it's there for you as a resource. Please use it. Share it with somebody else that you know is struggling with some anxiety and hopefully they can listen to it and get some support, get some virtual support to get them through that tough time. A handheld, right? Uh, I got an email from somebody today just saying, thank you so much for putting it out there. I've already used it a few times. It's got me through a few tough situations, right? Again, this isn't about coping. It's about getting you through that moment so that you can take that brave, courageous step forward in your life. All right? Thank you.